that was a song that's titled El Shaddai. That's going to be on my next CD project that I'm working on right now. I just finished Can't Stop and I'm sending that off to the presses right now and I'm expecting a release uh, date uh, about three and a half to four weeks from now. So look for that. I know you will be totally blessed by this CD. As a matter of fact, we got you know different things that I'm going to be posting on my YouTube page and on my friend's uh, Facebook page and uh, promoting this new CD, so get ready for that. Now, what I want to talk about right now, I just want to talk about the anointing and letting the anointing come upon whatever instrument that you play because once the anointing comes upon that instrument, it now has become the voice of God. And you know what? It's not just instrument, even though I'm, 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 I'm talking about music right now, but that can be any person. That can be anyone in, 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 in any field that you're in, the businessman, the attorney, uh, the nurse, the doctor, uh, whatever it is, the janitor. It doesn't matter. Uh, you got a broom in your hand, man. Let the anointing come up on that broom, you know, and then you'll sweep things up, man, that you never thought you'd sweep, man. You'll sweep so many people into the kingdom that it, 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 it'll make your head spin. So that's what the anointing can do, okay? That's what the anointing can do. I got a phone call, not a phone call, I'm sorry, but I got an email from an individual, and he asked me this question, and he said, Charlie, are there only certain instruments that can be used to lead people in praise and worship? And I said, no, any instrument can be used. It doesn't matter what instrument it is. You know, we're so used to seeing people lead worship from an acoustic guitar, electric guitar, even from a piano. But uh, 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 you don't rarely see, you rarely see a lot of people leading you know, worship from a bass guitar. People used to come up to me all the time and they used to say, Charlie, man, it's so amazing, man. How is it that you, you are able to lead us in praise and worship from a bass guitar? I said, I don't know, man. I just let God be God. You know, you have to let God be God. You have to have the anointing. The anointing breaks the yoke. Without the anointing, man, you just sounding brass. You know, you just tickling people's ears. In other words, that's all. That's all that's going on. I remember we were at uh, uh, the Master's Touch in Orlando, Florida. That's Dr. Mark Sharona's church. And uh, before the service, this one particular night, he came up to Kim and he said, "Look, I have a member in my congregation. He's a saxophone player, and he would love to play with you guys. Uh, if it's possible, uh, you know, could, you know, could you let him play?" And Kim said, yes, man, that'd be fantastic. Well, his name is Edwin, and I can't pronounce his last name. Uh, I, I will butcher his last name, so I won't even say, but you can go to my friend's page, and you can go to my Facebook page, and into my friend's list, tap in the word Edwin, and he'll pop up. I want you to visit his page because, man, he's fantastic. Well, this particular night, he got up on the, on, on the platform, and at a certain point in the service, Kim turned around, and he pointed at him and said, play. And when this man started playing, the atmosphere shifted. I mean, we it, it went to a whole nother level. I mean, the prophetic came in, the presence of God rushed in, and 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 and, and the spirit of prophecy was in the room. And, and Kim began to prophesy, and we all began to prophesy and declare the word of God. And that was a saxophone. It was a sax. Okay, so it can happen on any instrument. I remember back in 1996, uh, we were at a full gospel businessmen conference there in Houston, Texas. And after the service, a gentleman came up to me and he said to me, this is what he prophesied to me. He said, look, it's obvious that you are a great musician. There's no doubt about, there's no doubt about that. But God wants you to know that not only are you a musician, but you are a minstrel. You are a minstrel unto him. And, and, uh, and, and, and uh, he used the illustration of the Elisha. Remember when they came to Elisha and they asked Elisha, they said, look, we need a word from God. We need to hear from God. We need to know what it is that the Spirit is saying. And so Elisha said, well, bring me a musician. Bring me a musician. So, but that musician was just more than a musician. He was a minstrel. Because a minstrel is one that can take the very atmosphere and change it, make it conducive for the voice of God to be heard. Make it conducive so that the presence of God can be felt and be received. The power of the prophetic is like that and the power of the minstrel is like that. And the only way that operates or the only way that can come upon you is by the anointing. You see, by the anointing, that's the only way that it can come upon you. 